I can't cosplay as Storm for the rest of my life. Okay. We need options. All right. And welcome to a another episode special episode of clear hair we're going to be talking about cosplay and you know black women for the most part and like the history of it and how we need more options so we're going to start off with the fact that my personal history of cosplay i've been cosplaying since i would say about 20 um about 2016 yeah <laughs> i had to say it like that because i was like yeah i'm gonna start doing math real quick but um, I've been cosplaying since 2016. I can definitely say I have a couple of my favorites that I'm going to show here as well that I've done. But I don't really have a favorite. I feel like each one I get into character very easily. You know, I'm very, th very thematic. So I feel like I get into character very easily. I'm sorry, there's just one string here. And then um, I know some people are going to come for me and be like, there's a glare from your glasses from the ring lights. Fix technology. If technology actually lighted my skin tone and my undertones correctly, I wouldn't have to have 17 lights all around me to film one scene. So yeah, it's, yeah take that up with IT. Anyways, but I can definitely say for with my history of it, um, my first one I would say was Bumblebee. And that cosplay was really... Uh, it was it, it was it was special to me because it's like it's your first your first cosplay because i think the first thing as a cosplayer was the fact that i was like are people gonna like make fun of me like like you're like at your big age you're still dressing up at your big age you're still dressing up so i was definitely nervous for that i was also not aware of how to behave at a cosplay i mean at comic con as well because like do you ask for pictures do pictures people ask pictures of you are you allowed to say no so i can definitely say for sure uh whenever i go to you know not to brag or anything but whenever i cosplay i always get asked for pictures left and right and like i just be like oh well that happens to everybody i was like you don't understand like full-on like i had to take a break at one time because i was doing at least 10 pictures an hour and now I feel now I see what how these celebrities feel like. But I was doing at one point I was doing ten, 10 pictures an hour, so I was really exhausted from that. Um, but I can definitely say for sure that um, it was just like my first one was Bumblebee, and like it was really special to me because my first Comic Con that I went to back in, um, in MegaCon to Orlando, and you know it was kind of nerve wracking because it's just like so many people are picky. But we'll get into that later on. But I can definitely say for sure, com like cosplay has definitely changed how I, it's just changed me as a person. It's definitely given me more confidence because it takes a lot of confidence to walk outside in a costume and uh, uh, have no one like make fun of you or whatever. And you don't even care. It's more like, if anything, let's just make fun of these people who do these things. All right. Um, we're going to get into the second portion is the pushback. Here we go. Here we go. This is the main reason why cosplaying is so hard as a black woman for sure is the pushback. Let's be real. Let's be real for a little bit, okay? Let's be real right quick. So my main thing is you saw the you saw the full on uh how incensed people were with Ariel being not a redhead. Yeah, because this is about hair, right? Um, you saw how incensed people were about that. So just imagine on a daily basis when you cosplay characters that are not technically from this one. So that's why I said I was like, you gotta definitely for sure make sure that <laughs> you gotta make sure that you have like a certain level of confidence and a certain level of clapback ready. You get what I'm trying to say? So I can definitely say I've had my share of their saying, oh well, that character is not really that color, or that character is not that really that color. And you know, my thing too, as well as I feel like as a black cosplayer, I feel like the detail, I need to be detailed. Like, I think I did a quick Hunter, Hunter, Hunter x Hunter. I'm not really familiar with the anime, but um, I did a quick cosplay of her. And I remember people were just breaking my cosplay down breaking it down like full on like oh that's not the same color you don't have the same eyes you have black blood type O. she has blood type a b no way it's not the same way but i feel like with other certain other demographics they're allowed to like all right guys i put cat ears on my ears i am now <laughs> tinchi muyo like it's like what is going on like it was like they have it but i feel like there's definitely a certain level of pressure that 
I have to be detailed. My cosplay has to be on point to the T. I had to have lived in Egypt for a little bit to storm to cosplay as Storm. My middle name has to be Aurora Monroe. Like I feel like there's definitely that pressure that you need to be detailed. So this is gonna go back to my final thing is the fact that I'm broke. Now you can put the volume down, but I'm broke. All right. Cosplay is not for the broke. It's not. A lot of the stuff is very recycled. Like you'll see a couple of my jewelries. They'll be like, hey, did she wear that for another cosplay? I did. Just like this hair doubles as plenty of other cosplays as well, okay? You gotta be smart and analytical about your cosplay when you're broke. You can't just get a cosplay that's not gonna be able to use for different things. Like this was essentially, this was for like my Storm cosplay, but I got um, sick with Pandora. Um, I got sick with Pandora last year, so I wasn't able to wear this one because I was going to go as a different version of Storm each um, Comic-Con, but I ended up being sick. So what I use, I use this as the Ghost of Christmas Pass for like another um, uh, thing that I did last year. So that's why I said I was like, you got to be strategic. You have to be strategic. You just can't sit there and be like, okay, I'm just going to buy one specific cosplay. I'm going to buy a rainbow colored um, hair uh, wig. I was like, no, you got to buy something that can be used throughout different cosplays because what's going to end up happening, what's going to end up happening is that you're going to waste a lot of money you don't have, especially when it's not turning a profit, especially when you haven't been monetized yet, almost there, um, especially when you haven't been monetized yet. I can definitely say for sure that you need to make sure that you know what I'm trying to say. You need to make sure that you're buying stuff that's 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 very very analytical. Like be strategic with this. Be strategic. So if you buy a white bodysuit, that can be used for different cosplays. You can use that for another one, this one, that one. Like just just think about that if you want to save yourself some money. Because like I said, I'm broke. I still have loans to pay. So it's just like I can't be sitting here dropping money, especially when it's not getting appreciated as well. So. I would say for sure I'm broke. And I feel like a lot of these cosplays, like it's a lot of pressure because even with me, you know, at, um, you know, doing cosplay for six years now, you know, on and off and like taking it more serious this year. Um, I can definitely say for sure it's much harder to not be in your own way. Cause you'll sit there in the back of your mind and be like, Hey, um, you should release, you should do this cosplay. But then it's like, well, this person who's established, they're going to buy, they're going to, they're going to fly to Africa to film their cosplay. They're going to fly to this place to film their cosplay. Like it's a lot of pressure because you're thinking and you're just like, I don't have that money. I don't have that access to do that. I can't sit there and make myself from, from scratch. If anything, making making stuff from scratch is more expensive. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's more expensive because you gotta buy the materials and then there's like that 30, 40% room for error. So now you wasted money twice. Buy a $70 suit that already has come with everything or buy $100 worth of materials and hopefully it works out that you can use it for something else. So I can definitely say for sure, like it's intimidating as a small content creator, as someone who's um, starting to take her cosplay more seriously is the fact that I can't keep up financially. I cannot keep up. Okay. So I just wanted to put that out there with people be like, you should cosplay as this. You should cosplay as that. I was just like, can I cosplay as a rich person? Can I do that? Can someone tell me like I identify as a different tax bracket. If I can do that, just let me know. I will definitely go through and identify as a different tax bracket. You guys let me know. Um, I would say for sure, the main point is the solution. So we're going to get to the solution. The solution is there is no solution because solutions mean there's a problem. Is, now, do we have a problem? <laughs> uh, but honestly, we don't have a problem. I feel like the solution, number one, should be that you guys need to understand what does cosplay mean? Cosplay, cosplay is actually shorthand for costume play. A lot of people don't know that. But cosplay is shorthand for costume play. Costume. Hmm. Costume is to dress up. Let's break the word down. Let's let's do hooked on phonics. Foot 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 phonics song. Let's 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 break it down right quick, okay? Um, it's costume play. So you're basically playing dress up. Do you hear that? You're playing dress up. Catch with me now. Catch it up with me. You're playing dress up. So what that entails is that there's a game to be played. There's, it's not serious. I feel like I have to talk slow to certain people because they don't understand. It's a play, okay? A play is a script that you read from something 
and you act from it, right? So it's a play. I feel like I had to like, I had to, I had to spend like a minute of the video talking about that because I truly feel like people take it, people take it a little bit too seriously, I think so. Um, but I would say another solution too is, or option, because it's not a problem. Another solution is you gotta give us more options, baby. We only have Storm, Domino, and Misty Knight. And most of the time, you guys recognize it every other time. Like I remember when I dressed up as Misty Knight, like. People were like, you look good. Let me take a picture of you. I was like, I'm a character. I am a character from Marvel. I should fought with Luke Cage. I fought with him too. But no, they just wanted to take a picture, which is fine. But I was still kind of like, talk to me. Like, 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 talk to me. Like, we don't have a lot of options. How many, like, if you put a list of, of characters that you can cosplay that people will recognize, like I said, it's not saying that there's not a lot of black characters. There's plenty of them. I think there's like a list of 100 plus just from DC alone, okay? DC and like, DC and Marvel, I think there's like 100 plus. You know, you got Rocket, uh, F Photon, you know, um, it's Rambo. So like a lot of them that you, people don't really know, but I was like, I'm not going to sit there. Like the majority of going to co uh, uh, Comic-Con is being recognized. That's the main thing. I'm not going to sit here and spend a million dollars and just like, um, what's that? That one character? Absolutely not. So until you guys give us other options, like we're gonna, we're, we're going to cosplay as who's ever popular. So that's why I said, I was just like, oh yeah, I forgot about Valkyrie from Thor. But I was like, we're gonna, we're gonna cosplay for who's ever available. So I would definitely say, um, I feel like you guys can use my cosplays as Halloween costumes as well. Um, definitely don't forget to subscribe, share. It's clear here. Bye.